Welcome to Medlacto. Today we are going to discuss anti-cancer drug, specifically microtubules inhibitors. In the previous lectures, we have discussed Vinca alkaloid that is actually fall in the microtubules inhibitor in which we have discussed three most important drugs. Vincristin, which is also known as Oncovin, Vinplastin and Vinorambin. But now we are again going to discuss two most important microtubules inhibitor that is Paclitaxel and Docetaxel. So actually, these drugs also drive from the plant and that is the taxus. So if you see here, paclitaxel and docetaxel. So these drugs actually drive from the genus of the plant that is the taxus. Okay. Or you can say, yo. That's why we call these drugs, they actually belong to the family of the taxane. They actually belong to the family of the taxin. Okay, paclitaxel and docetaxel. Semi-synthetic paclitaxel are also available in the market as well. So, if you see here, these drugs actually cell cycle specific. They will act on the specific phase of the cell cycle. So, if you see here, G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase, these phases are actually lie in the interface of the cell cycle in which you will see the cell prepared the materials for the cell division. Okay, but in the M phase, that is the mitotic phase in which you will see the actual divisions of the cell. So we further categorize the mitotic phase into four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. That is prophase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. Okay. But the most important phase regarding the taxane family is the metaphase, okay, and the anaphase, okay. Before we discuss the mechanism of actions of the paclitaxel and docetaxel, we will first discuss the microtubule because these drugs actually inhabit the microtubules. That's why we call these drugs microtubules inhibitors. So, microtubules actually form the cytoskeleton, skeletal of the cell that is formed by the microtubule and provide the shape to the cell. Microtubules will also involve in the mitotic spindle that is actually in the cell division. That's the most important thing. So microtubules actually made up of tubulin protein. Tubulin protein is actually present in the microtubules. First of all, we will see how microtubules form. So actually, you will see the tu tubulin. Tubulin has two units, alpha and the beta. They actually present in the heterodimer form, alpha unit and beta unit. Lot of these small units present in the cytoplasm. Okay. These small unit heterodimer will polymerize and form the single microtubules fiber. That's the most important thing. That process is called the polymerization. Polymerization in which the tubulin heterodimer combine and form the single microtubules fiber that is polymerization. Another thing which we have to remember, these polymerized form of the microtubule can again convert into the tubulin subunits. And that process is called depolarization. These two process, polymerization and the depolymerizations of the microtubules actually happens during the cell division. So if we see here, actually we have discussed in the mitotic phase, you will see the four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. In the prophase, you will see the chromatin actually present in the thread-like form. It will convert into the chromosome in the prophase. Okay. After that, you will see the metaphase. Here is the metaphase. In the metaphase, you will see at the poles of the cell, you will see the presence of the most important organelle and that is the centriole. So, that's the most important. In centriole, actually presents pair of centriole specifically present at the poles of the cell. Okay. And from the centriole, you will see the formations of microtubules. Okay. If you see here, lot of microtubules produced from the centriole, okay, from both sides, microtubules, okay. 
that's the most important thing some microtubules will attach to the chromosome okay but some microtubules attach to itself they will come across and attach to itself that's the most important thing so if you see those microtubules or you can say mitotic spindle microtubules microtubules and the mitotic spindle both are the same thing you can say microtubules or you can say mitotic spindle so those microtubules that attach to the centromere that is the centers of the chromosome or you can say kinetochord of the chromosome that is called the kinetochord kinetochord fibers or you can say microtubules and those fibers microtubules that attach to itself that is the non kinetochord fibers or you can say microtubules that is the most important thing okay after that in normal process after that when these microtubules contract then what will happen the single chromatid will separate okay the chromosome become separate one goes to the one pole of the cell and one pair goes to the second pole of the cell so if you see here this way uh, this is the same process these are basically the microtubules okay okay but now the most important thing which you have to remember during the separation or segregations of the copy of the chromosome during that process actually microtubule present in this way present in polymerized form okay during its contraction or separations of the chromosome the microtubules or you can say tubuli heterodimer will separate okay and the length of the microtubule will reduce at the same time when they move towards the poles of the at the same time the heterodimer will also separate and ultimately the length of the microtubule will reduce at the starting if, if i say at the starting the length of the microtubule is this way with the passage of the time the length of the microtubule will reduce why because the different heterodimer will separate from the microtubules that's the more, that is the normal process but what is the functions of the taxane paclitaxel and docetaxel so actually paclitaxel and docetaxel will combine to the microtubules at the inner side so here is the microtubule paclitaxel will join to the inner sides of the microtubules then what will happen the functions of the paclitaxel they will stabilize the microtubules and prevent the depolymerization again separations of the uh, heterodimers to be in hydrodimer so ultimately what will happen at this phase when the paclitaxel combine to the tubulin it will prevent the depolarization separations of the hydrodimer so ultimately copy of the chromosome chromatid will not separate or will not move to the centriole ultimately you will see the cell will freeze in the metaphase and ultimately the cell will prefer to go to the death instead of the anaphase that is the anaphase cell will not go into the anaphase cell will prefer to go to the death apoptosis that's the most important thing because there is no separation of the chromosome and that is abnormality our body says that you can go towards the death instead of the formations of the abnormal uh, dotted cell so that's the most important thing okay that is the most important thing hexane stabilize the microtubule prevent the segregations of the chromosome and ultimately you will see the death of the cell okay if we discuss the pharmacokinetics that's the most important thing first of all if you see paclitaxel and doxycycline that is the taxane family uh, you can that can be given to the body through the iv intravenous that's the most important thing and second thing uh, metabolization of the uh, taxane drugs actually lie in this liver through the cytochrome 450 that is the enzyme that metabolize these drugs and ultimately these drugs through the bile bile duct ultimately open into the duodenum because the bile duct will open to the 
proximal part of the duodenum. Okay, that's and excreted through the feces. Okay, that's the most important thing about the paclitaxel and docetaxel. So if we discuss the clinical uses, first of all we will discuss the paclitaxel. So these drugs actually use along with the most important cisplatin. Cisplatin, paclitaxel along with the cisplatin that is the combined chemotherapy given for the ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer, that's the most important thing. Paclitaxel can also be given in the metastasized breast cancer as well. So breast cancer, what type of breast cancer? The cancer that has become metastasized is spread to the other parts of the body as well. Okay. And last is the non-small cell lung cancer. Non-small cell lung cancer. That is the, that is the use of the paclitaxel. Okay. Docetaxel is actually used in the Prostate cancer, prostate cancer, that is actually the important organs are of the human and it can also be used in the breast cancer, GIT cancer or non-small cell lung cancer. Again, that is very much important. Non-small cell lung cancer that is used in both paclitaxel and docetaxel. If we discuss the adverse effects, what adverse effects Will you see when patient take the taxane family drugs? Okay. First of all, you will see the thrombocytopenia and the neutrocytopenia. Thrombo, thrombocytopenia and the neutropenia. Low number of the platelets, thrombocytes and the low amounts of the neutrophil that is the white blood cell. Okay. Next is the Neurotoxicity, neurotoxicity, and you can also say peripheral neuropathy. That is the most important thing in which you will see the paresthesia, tinglings in the necks, numbness in the legs, and pain. So, that is the most important thing during the peripheral neuropathy. Okay, and you can also see the hypersensitivity reaction. Hyper sensitivity reaction in which you will see three most important things urticaria that is the first thing first thing that you will see urticaria that's the most important thing second thing which you see that the hypotension hypotension low blood pressure okay and last thing is the dyspnea Difficulty in the breathing. That's the most important thing. Articaria, hypotension and dyspnea. That is the uh, most important adverse effects of it. And most uh, different adverse effects you can also see alopecia, loss of the hairs and general symptoms like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. These are basically the general adverse effects of the anti-cancer drugs which we have discussed in all the anti-cancer drugs. So due to these effects, articaria, hypotension, dyspnea, we, you should prescribe Along with the pac paclitaxel, uh, that is the dexamethasone, or you can also give the diphen hydramine. So these drugs should be given along with the paclitaxel to reduce the adverse effect that is caused by the paclitaxel. So these are actually dexamethasone and the diphenhydramine. So this is all about the microtubules inhabitor that is paclitaxel and doxytaxel. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.